What's happening people, before you watch this podcast, quick little reminder, if you don't know what you're doing in the gym, sign up for the Gym Will Fix It programme which will be launching on the Saturday before Christmas. Jesus Christ, I'm absolutely smashing this intro first time. So as well as that, if you can, support the podcast in any way possible. If you're on Spotify, rate it. Apple, give me a review, write me a nice little 800 word essay about how good I am. And if you're on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, all of that. One take, apart from I said, I swore, block that out, YouTube don't like that, enjoy. Is your dyslexia, like, working today? Well, I have, what did I say to you yesterday? I haven't slept in like four days, so... Ah, but you it's... said your wording was a bit different. You tried to explain how your dys dyslexia was affecting you, and you said you haven't spelt in a few days. And Evidently. Meant... <laughs> so good. Slapped or spelt. So you reckon you can... So... Today we've got, we're doing a different type of podcast because the last podcast me and you done. Yeah, horrific. I think it's the worst thing that I've ever put you've on the internet. You've done worse than that, you've, surely no. You've done worse podcasts than that. The one with me and Jamie was terrible as well, but it was the same thing because when you're mates with someone and then you have them on a podcast, if you try to talk, see when you hear the same story that you've heard before, it's like, I'll let shit myself. Yeah, yeah, 100%. It's... I was asking him, I was specifically asking him stuff, I'm like, I know the answer to this. And I've done podcasts since that and I'm grand, but it's just when it's with you, you're kind of comfort zoned a wee bit because we're mates, if you know what I mean. So it was specifically it was when I asked you, I need to keep close to this, specifically when I asked you about the, was it your three favourite meals and I could see that you wanted to kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and then you started talking and I was like, I want to kill myself. Yeah, when someone asked me that question, I always want to kill myself to be fair. Yeah, um, so the podcast we're going to do today, it was actually your idea, wasn't it, to do yep. this. Um, we we just can't talk about fitnessy stuff when we're together because it's our work. Well, we can, but we can't do it <sighs> I think it planned. needs to be... It, it can't be planned, no. It needs to be, and like we can do it as our own... Yeah like our own Instagrams and stuff but then when we're together and we try and make content together and it's just like oh here's how to stick to like this too formal yeah and our content in the last year has got so informal do you think that it's so hard for us to be like professional now. well I just can't say the word calorie without crying wanting to kill yourself yeah exactly yeah let's move on from the suicide references yep. um so as well let's Let's talk about something that I've refused to bring up for the last two or three weeks so that I could speak about it on the podcast. Can you um, tell me about the wee inquiry you had um, the other week? <sighs> Do I have to? <laughs> Go into exact details. You want Actually, specifics? can you just bring it up and show them? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Fucking, it's too early on in the podcast for that. So, obviously, we do online coaching and we maybe get, what, 20, 30 inquiries a month, something like that, mm -hmm. maybe more sometimes. And... I'll not name any names, but this guy had applied for coaching. I went through the usual back and forth with him, just the usual salesy nonsense that you go through. We are not that salesy. No, we're not, but you still... You just asked saves him... Saves you time, yeah. You just asked him why did he apply. Hey, Jeff, thanks for applying, man. <laughs> What's your biggest reason for What's your biggest goal and biggest insecurity? <laughs> what we know what his biggest goal was now. <laughs> um, so, anywho, anyway... I didn't get back to this fella just because I was super busy with everything to do with the recipe book. And three weeks later, it was a Sunday, which is the most horrific fucking day to receive something like this. It was a Sunday, and I went into my archives. I seen there was a message sitting in the archives with my WhatsApps. Clicked into it, scrolled down, and it's a video. And next thing I started watching this video, and it's just a fella pulling himself off and coming all over his chest. It was absolutely... <laughs> his chest, he didn't come over his chest. Disgusting or whatever. His dick wasn't big enough to come over his chest. It was absolutely But what horrific. I didn't get about it was, you actually voice messaged him back. That's what I actually got annoyed at you. You were voice messaging him back, like having a wee bit of a laugh. And I was like, no, I'm actually... Yeah, you were ready to... You tell me the was... exact thing that you said. Tell everybody the exact thing that you said. I wanted to blackmail him. Yeah, and tell him that I was going to ruin his life. It's a tricky one because when a, when a guy receives something like that, or maybe it's just me, but it actually is quite funny. And my first instinct is to send it to about four or five people that I know and just be like, "Look what I just look what someone just would, sent me." I would try to ruin his life. That's what yeah. I said. I wanted to ruin no because it's also that sex offender shit. That's like on the list sort of thing. Yeah, horrific. Uh, so what I did was I sent it to you. I sent, I sent it to... Well, I sent it to five people without you even... <laughs> well, that's what I said. <laughs> Funny enough, I said to people, I was like, send this to as many people as possible. <laughs> Let people know that this pathetic individual exists out there somewhere. 
Um, so I sent it to you, sent it into the group chat. Funny enough, and people all think this is a bit strange, I also sent it to my dad, and that just goes to show you the sort of relationship that I have with my dad. Don't worry, he didn't touch me or anything. You are kid. weird. Yeah, we are we a bit you, of a weird family. We are weird. Um, and your reaction was like one of this fella needs to die. Like that's <laughs> that, you did say that. <laughs> fucking right he does yeah. he's gonna he's gonna do something he's gonna sexually assault somebody yeah it's that's just, like the that's like the entry level it's just ridiculous because it's the gateway if, drug yeah if you're a girl if you're a girl in that scenario that you're straight on the sex offenders list like if I'm a female there and a I fella sends said, me yeah, that he's on the sex offenders list sending it to you yeah that was uh, absolutely ridiculous but it's just funny how the narrative changes if you're a fella compared to if you're a we- if you're a woman like, like I said my first reaction there was piss myself laughing and send this on to three other people and make sure they just keep for- forwarding it on and is get his a name in the backstory. It? yeah get it fucking out of fucking name. I reckon let's blackmail him think so I fully want yeah. blackmail him I want to tell him that I'm going to take it to the police and stuff what do you or, reckon? I, or I'm going to like share it somewhere just yeah. threaten him let's get money out of him yeah tell him give him a 10 grand ransom for yeah is ransom the right word is that how do you Threat? I don't know I really don't know anything about the law <laughs> Like but that. let's get money out of him I reckon 10 grand mate or this is going have everywhere. you ever had anything like that to that level no, obviously not to that level nah, nowhere near as bad as that just to uh, I've blocked about 20 people but it's usually mine's is usually 40 year old women mate mine's is usually 25 to 45 year old gay fellas nah mine's is well you used to always post what you used to do to me was actually more horrible than what people used to message me you would put up pictures of me because you know that's my fucking demographic and just say, what would you like to do at this, man? <laughs> and then you just get four-year-old women saying just fucking disgusting fucking things. Squirrel over his face. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that's that, one, one of the eight anonymous questions was how much for you to sit on my face. Serious? I, I, I bet you're hoping for you... For how do you in, no, for me to sit on their face. For, for you? You fucking suffocate the poor... <laughs> The per person. How is that? What your men don't sit on women's faces? <laughs> no, nah, it's not something that happens. Teabagging. Um, but yeah, that for that situation, that is the maddest thing. Yeah, it means the maddest, maddest that, the most that, horrific thing that's ever happened. That, that girl used of, to tell you used to ask me about pegging me. Yeah, and I re- stupidly replied to her quite a few times, and then she would just send me weird videos of her dancing with her mate when she was drunk. <laughs> but they weren't like seductive at all. She just like, like TikTok dances. Yeah, uh, she looked like said the sloth or something, like fucking <laughs> rolling about her floor. And I was like, is that meant to turn me on? It's yeah, fucking putting me off. I've had to restrict a few people. I never go as far as blocking them unless they're absolute creeps. I feel a bit guilty blocking women when they're flirting with you. Not if they're being no, I mean. a creep. And then there was that gay guys from Northern Ireland. Seem, seem to just be a wee bit tell everybody about that what one the first one the the one you had the block because he was oh what the, we were are you talking Rush. about the one we were yeah, in Port Rush yeah yeah that was funny man so this guy I was I was slagging off Northern Ireland because you're a wee bit fried which is I think that's fair game I think that is... I know I'm in Northern Ireland, I'm saying that right now, but Perfect. by the time this podcast goes out, I'll be back in, safe in Glasgow. There's scissors sitting there. And we... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was because you said something... You posted a video or something about... I can't remember, but there was a guy that replied to you. Yeah. And he was, say, he was going on about fucking, like, United Ireland and all that. Like, in a, uh, wasn't he? I think he was, wasn't he? Oh, mate. Can't I, remember. Just, something like that. Can't remember. And then I reposted it, and I was like, you're fucking fried. Yeah. And then that guy was like get out of my fucking country and all that wasn't he he was like yeah. send me a big message about how I was a fucking disrespectful bastard and all that yeah. but this is the same guy who'd spent about a year sliding out my DMs being an absolute creep can specific I've got screenshots I swear remember I tried to yep. search for the screenshots for yep. like fucking the full were day I was, we were we were in um, we were in that restaurant and I was literally you were trying to talk to me. I was like, mate, I'm trying to find it. I've screenshotted this guy being a creep to me at some point. <laughs> I was like, shut up. And uh, he, he'd he been saying stuff to me like, oh, I can see your, see your, what do you call that? <coughs> your belly? <laughs> your bump or... You were like doing this. What do you want me to <laughs> say? Yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> I could see your uh, bulge. That's right, what he okay. said to me. And then stuff like that. And he was just saying, he was like, oh, you're so ha- handsome. And he was like, oh, I love yeah, your I eyes and stuff that. like that. Yeah. And he was like, mm. 
<laughs> yeah, he was like, mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he was just being a creep, and there was like a year worth of messages. But then when he sent that message, everything was gone, uh-huh. and I just met like so he's giving me abuse, and I was like, oh, that's funny. Whatever his I think his name, fuck, I can't remember his name. Let's say it was Daniel. Or whatever. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, that's cute, Daniel. Have you deleted all your creepy messages to me before you <laughs> sent that? And then he blocked me instantly. So there's, freaks. I've yeah. had a few. None as bad as somebody sending me. It was, mate. It wasn't. It wasn't just a picture of his dick. It wasn't just a video of his dick. It wasn't just a video of him wanking. It was a video of him wanking. It was all them things put together. Yeah. The, it's the bit at the end which actually made me feel physically sick. I literally didn't eat for four hours. See, if you just sent a picture of his dick, I'd have been fine. I'd have been like, that's fair game, mate. Like everyone. Really? No, nah, that's not as bad as his video was. So disgusting. Another outra- outrageously creepy. I ruined like creepy. four. I ruined like four people's days in that. Yeah. Another outrageously creepy part of it is after I'd sent them the voice note being like, "Catch yourself on, big man," or something like that. Something funny. He he'd sent me three more messages after that, but then went back. Like I obviously didn't see them because I think I was watching Formula One or something. And uh, I went back later on. They were all deleted, but he hadn't deleted the video of him having a wank. <laughs> So Jink- weird. Jinky was on something. He's, do you know what I actually said back to him? I just remember now. I was like, big man, we've all woke up on a Sunday, horn to the back teeth, but the last fucking thing I wanted to see was you coming all over your fucking chest. I'm not going to eat for like... <laughs> Stop saying he came on his chest. He didn't. He didn't. That makes it sound as if he like, was doing a selfie and like, coming on. Oh, so, no, it was like on his hand. I'm going to send disgusting. this podcast to him and be like, you're the... You're the... First 15 minutes. Yeah, just tune in. And we need Keep your you. wits about you. Ten grand, mate. Ten grand. I'm yeah. a bank account. Send yeah. them your PayPal Right, can we details? please move on from fucking fellas wanking over their chests? Will we get please? stuck into this? Let's do it. So, do you want to do you want to explain the game? Because I'm I'll just butcher it because you made this game up. Okay, so are you calling it what are you calling it? Cancelled roulette. Cancel roulette is what we're going to call this. Pretty much what we've did is in the past week we've put up those anonymous question boxes on Instagram. And, uh, By the way, can we just say how bad some of them were? Yeah, like not even the worst ones are in there. Some of them are absolutely no, 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 no. Horrific. Also, some people we were like, tell us something oh, controversial. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like, oh, tell me your favorite protein source. Yeah, literally, I was like, ask us anything. Ask us the most horrible stuff in your imagination. And someone was like, what color is your room? Someone asked, someone asked me, what's your worst personality trait? And then what's your best best personality trait? It was like, do you think my podcast is an interview for a yeah, job? it's like a massive spectrum between fucking pedophilia on one end and what colour is your room yeah, on the other Yeah, how tall end. are you? You look big. That's what yeah. someone said to me. <laughs> yeah, but there's also some, there was also a few <laughs> horrific some ones. Some ones, ones. We're kind of, I'm low-key, I don't know about Gav, but I'm low-key hoping we draw those ones out. So we, we've we not seen each other's questions and then we're going to both take one out, one yep. at a time. And then, but we might both answer them because we don't really know how it's going to work. Um, I yep. propose... Right, so we give it a wee... A wee stir. Give it a wee shake. Give it a stir. Um, and do you want to go first? Yeah, give me... I'll give it a stir. You love that shit, don't you? Is it getting a bit... You're a is it getting a bit sleazy now, is it? Or what's mm. the story? Nah, it's probably making you money, so... Right, let's see, let's see. Okay, this is one of my ones. So, right, <laughs> right. So number one, Gavin seems to get quite a lot of messages uh, for being fat and still giving fat loss advice. What's his thoughts on Say this? Say that again. But Gavin, you're gonna you're gonna have to be careful with the dyslexia so that yeah, I can understand. So you just keep me right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin seems to get quite a lot of messages for being fat and still giving out fat loss advice. What's his thoughts on this? Right. Yeah. That's actually what this guy wrote. This person wrote that. Uh, As makes, an agate. it makes no sense. I just yeah. wrote it word for word. So what I th- what I think he's trying to say is, you're a fat cunt, but you still give out fat loss advice. What's your thoughts on this? Have you seen me when I was fifteen? I don't think you're in terrible shape, to be fair. I'm not fat. I don't think you're, like, in... On, I mean, you don't look like me. You see, know what I mean? See, when I bulk, right, and get up to, like, nearly 90 kilos, people will say I'm fat. See, when I cut, people yep. will say I'm skinny. Yeah. We're, we're every not, day, um, Every day I wake up to comments about how I look, and it's just because of the industry we're in. Here's what I want to say first thing, sir. Fuck you for giving my make of stick. Second thing I want to say is you don't have to be in ridiculously good shape 
they get like p- p- people have been mailing me I that a lot a recently like not even saying not like drawing attention to me or anything they're just saying i don't take anybody seriously who's not in good shape i know some absolute melters that are in ridiculous shape half the people are that good people coaches. are watch that are watching half the people they're watching are also on gear yep i've never took any gear so i would go as far as saying i'm the opposite if someone is in like ridiculously good shape and they're a bit red in the, the face to the point where you know they've been injecting some test or something like that. That's the sort of person I don't want to take advice off, mm-hmm. if I'm being totally honest. Absolutely. Can I tell you something? I'm already bored. We went in the fitness chat. No, well, it's about you. <laughs> I don't really give a fuck, honestly. See, see, since I started doing exercise videos, people will, I get commented on like how I'm not big enough and all that every day. Yeah. And then people are calling me fat. I can't give a fuck. I honest, genuinely, I could. I Do you feel this. like if you were in, if we were in much better shape, those exercise videos would go down better? No, because um, or like you. Do you mean as in to get more views? Yeah, probably. Yeah, definitely. Like people play on their physique, but it's also lighting. I don't. But I don't. I don't ever set up the camera to make me. I, it wouldn't make much. I don't want anyway. you. By the way, I don't want you to think that I wrote that. I. Uh, didn't. It wouldn't make much <laughs> a difference anyway. That's sort of fucking in. It wouldn't make Hands much up. a difference if I changed the lighting anyway, because it's not as if I'm massive. Yeah. But if um, if I did. Like I don't, I don't do that with my videos. I don't specifically go. I look bigger than that. Yeah. I go. I just literally film the video. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But yep. when I see that, so we're moving on from this. You yeah. want to get off this? This touch a little nerve, did it, or what was the story? No, but this is one of yours because it... it's massive. Fuck me. Right. Well, this is can only be aimed at you. Your chin is Jesus ma- Christ. Your chin is massive. <laughs> Would you ever consider getting that fixed? Because you could land a plane on it. <laughs> <laughs> First things first, you should just put like a Buzz Lightyear over yeah. over my head into the camera here. Um, from an appearance standpoint, no, but if it like there is actual issues here, like there is, it's not normal. It's it, dyslexia. It's dyslexia. It actually, it's not normal. So there is actually like I've got a was it underbite? I think it's yeah, yeah, called. Yeah. So there is actually something on their land that needs sorted, right? I've had it my whole life. I don't really, I'm not bothered. But if it ever gets to a point where it gets sore, I think I would definitely uh, maybe get surgery. Did on you it. ever? Did it the, has got sore at times. Did the dent? Did the dentist or anything ever say? Anything? Well, that was the next. That was the the last resort, I suppose. So after braces, he was like, "Look, this isn't getting fi- this isn't fixing this. What you need is a is it like a." Uh, a jaw recorrection. Re- we need to smash your jaw. <laughs> exactly. A nice way of saying we're going to break your jaw. You're going to have to eat soup for six weeks and drink water. And uh, after that, your your face will look mildly different. Fucking grim. So someone actually asked you that? Yes. Yep. Fucking hell. Well, I don't know who they were. They're anonymous. Brutal, it? I didn't get any there's, brutal See, I don't that. know about you, right? But there's nothing anybody... And I'm... Uh, this That's this, I mean. this seems I'm like such saying. a... What's the word? This seems like such a oh, look at me thing to say, but there's literally nothing anybody can say about me that would, like, annoy me. Maybe at the start of, like, TikTok and stuff, if you did oh, a video no, on people like, this fella doesn't that. know what he's talking about. But see, these days, literally couldn't give a shit. I don't see these people as real people. Like I love my jaw. Your jaw? I think my <laughs> jaw is <laughs> class. My job there is like, fucking, what's that got to do in? <laughs> my job. But it wasn't always like this. When I was, like, when I was twi- from 12 to about 17, I had a big fat face, but then all of a sudden, 18... I Just think you're quite good looking. Think so? Mm-hmm. Thanks, mate. Not as good looking as Were me. Were you the one asking the sexual questions then, or what's the crack? Mines are, let's just say, mines are definitely different to them. They were like the two, they're the only two about us. Right. They okay. were the only two that were asked about us. Right. So, so I thought I'd put them in. Give it a wee star. You're the next go. one, or is it me? Yeah, on you go. Stick them out of me. Oh. That one was stuck my, to me, so we'll go with this one. be any more different to that. Here, can you get that out of the camera? Right, number three then. I feel like I'm doing a Champions League draw. Draw Stewart. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best bit. Right, okay. Would you rather your Instagram followers seen a sex tape of yours or you had to watch it back with your parents, siblings and grandparents? So that's one of yours. Can you explain this to me or do you want to answer it first? Well, no, it's for you. Go ahead. 
So would you rather? Because I don't know if you know this, but I'm not good at reading things out loud and I actually un- un- understanding what the question is. That's <laughs> See, a side you're effect. You're just focusing on saying the words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nailed every word. But Can you read mean? it back to me now? <laughs> Would you rather your Instagram followers seen a sex tape of yours, so say of you and your missus, uh-huh. so everyone in your Instagram right. followers seen it? You or, know what my answer to this is already. Or would you rather your family seen it? Yeah, m- but it's m- not just your mum, dad, it's your set, Corey and also... Granny. Granny Isabel. Yep, Granny Isabel. That's why I specifically wrote grandparents, because Granny Isabel. I would much rather Granny Isabel see me stuffing Bobby than... Don't say stuffing. Than... <laughs> my followers because that's a ruiner like if what the, about well, parents uh, being there as well I wouldn't yeah I would still pick that one all day that wouldn't bother me no. I wouldn't do it on purpose I wouldn't just put you know, we're gonna oh, yeah that watch would, that Jeffrey Dahmer thing I mean, we're watched, gonna watch it. I've only watched the one with the gay deaf guy that you made me watch oh yeah yeah that's you haven't watched the rest of it uh, no, that's not anyway, what I watched uh, I would definitely you need all to watch day that subject. that's why you can't get any more followers on Instagram yeah exactly yeah and hopefully it ends soon I genuinely think I'd maybe rather choose no well it's, it's, you're, you're fa- it's a weird one because your family's going to see it anyway if yeah, it's on Instagram but mine, is that- is, mine is so much weirder if I do that my mum and dad have, can't stand each other and can't stay in the same room my my grandparents <laughs> my, my dad's my dad's mum fucking gets on it all the time so she'd be just fucking steaming yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh who's that <laughs> Why is Wanna use as that? <laughs> <laughs> and then my other gran, my mum's mum, I've not seen in 20 years. But come here and watch me shagging. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, I, I know just... I haven't spoken 20 years, but uh, you need to come down to Do you know what my mum's trying to convince me to go see her? And what are you thinking about that? I'd rather shoot myself. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. I've not seen her in 20 years. Imagine how weird that would be. Yeah, but why do you not want to go see her? She's your granny. she's a cunt. No, but 20 years. 20 years. Time's a great healer. But and all the that. reason I've not met her is because she's a cunt. Because she stopped talking to us all. So. But the answer to that, like one million, I, that wouldn't even bother me. I would just, yeah, I would actually, weird that way. I would just piss myself at my granny Isabel's reaction. This so is already so much better than the last one, isn't it? Yeah. As in, like, let's never ever do. Right, let's keep it going. Yeah, you're next. Give me a second. Mine's do start again. Really weird, Michael. I'm just gonna warn you. How much? Nah, we'll do yours. Um. I'm trying to work out your writing as well. Who do you think has the biggest cock, cock on the fitness Instagram TikTok? Like, who do you think has the biggest cock in the fitness industry, basically? Or like, between, is this between who we know? Yeah, probably just like the, someone yeah. we know. Rather someone than we like know. Someone Pat we know. Something. Well, not me and you for a start. No, I would safely not. say long and sorry medium never, medium ranged and thin for me I'm the same we've never seen each other's cocks no well I, I think that's one of the questions mm, mm, well you're staying over six days mm, you never know you might get lucky um biggest cock Tyler Bot, I think maybe just Why? get the idea that it's like a fucking uh, an elephant's trunk I don't know he's just tall he has a like Really deep voice. I know he's white and all that, but... What are you trying to say? All black people have big cocks. Well, you said that, not me. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say. So what height... I've never spent any time with him, but what height is he? Oh, uh, well, him and Aaron are big big lads. Like, What's... T- t- but t- I just feel like you get the... Vi- and I feel like if you've got a big cock, you tell people. And I've never heard either of them say that. Well, one... <laughs> I would tell people. How's it going, mate? Nice to meet you. My cock. <laughs> Is massive. <laughs> well, wait, my <laughs> that is the stupidest thing you've no, ever said. I would tell people. Oh, what you're very I close tell, friends. I tell, I like, tell not like people. people you just not t- like you're not like that with Taylor. But he's hardly going to just you know it's hardly going to just come up in conversation. Oh, uh, Gav, I've, I've gained uh, fifty thousand followers on TikTok, and my cock's massive. I, I think I would tell people if I, the amount of time I know Taylor. But if it was me, I would tell people if my cock was big. I couldn't tell you of any. Oh well, uh, maybe Big Clint. Big Clint is a big cut. One of my mates. Well, uh, one of my mates in school. Um, word was, word uh, gets around. Quick. The full year knew that he had jealousy, like the Loch Ness, Loch Ness monster in his pants. So if it's not, he used ty- to literally like we'd be sitting in English and he'd be sitting next to me. 
<laughs> no, because I remember in school, you used to get bonus all the time. I no. <laughs> you go to an all-boys school? Oh, what? You still... Would... Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> you definitely would have still got a bonus. I never, we never went no, to an all-boys school. That's not a thing where never you're from. It's only because no. do that. Never got a hard on in school. Shut up. In school? In school, when you were in class. You nev- when you were 14, you were having Not that I remember, like, you know. Maybe I did, I just uh, don't, you know. So you it's never not, had to not, talk. <laughs> it's not like you never had a to nostalgic your, experience, is it? You don't remember being in school and having to tuck your dick up your pants? No. Shh, fuck off. Never. That's a lie. Anyway, well, this was a thing. Maybe this is a Scottish thing then. A well, hard-ons? <laughs> <laughs> um, but my mate had a, a stomper. And it's every a new, It's a new word for me. Every time he used to get, like, I used to sit next to him in some of the classes and he'd be like, we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> like something off Kevin and Perry. And you go like that, and there was actually like it was huge as well. So it'd be like in his jeans, and you could he would let you just show you like that, and you could see it like veins and all that popping. And the first thing you shorts. said when you walked in here is Northern Irish people are weird, <laughs> and your mate showing his hard on in class, <laughs> on real. He would get like his bag, and he would like try shuffle up at the end of the class. <laughs> And I remember us being in Malia and I, we were talking to, there was like eight of us, we were watching football and then these two girls came over and started talking to us and him just, like he was sitting next to me, it was just me and him and I remember him nudging me and he's going, ah, it started again and he's just like, here we, go. we need to get out of here and he's <laughs> just starting sweating. <laughs> There's an eruption. Like when he had shorts on, he was fucked. Yeah. Because no he had shorts on and no top on, so you mm. couldn't like tuck it up or anything. Oh, it's like down here or somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's coming out of his shorts <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, right, is uh, this me or is it not you? Well, you it? haven't answered it on your part, so biggest cock on the fitness Instagram space. Just don't put it as on far, camera. As far as we know. Um, who are all, I don't even remember all the people we right, know. Right, let's go through, through it. Sean Casey wouldn't nah. think so. Rory Krosky nah. definitely has a tiny penis. Tony McAlevey. Tiny. Could be a surprise. Sean but Fitz, could be tiny. a chode as well. I reckon. Cause Any Irish. I reckon Sean Fitz is that big to compensate for his tiny dick. You think so? Yeah. Put big massive there. balls though, I reckon. Yeah, no. huge yeah. dripping ones. Yeah. Especially the left one. think so? Near his calf. <laughs> I would go with Tyler Bott. That would, I would lock in that answer, 100%. Okay. Even though I don't know him. Well, I'm going to Bali with Aaron Martin. So I'll ask you know. a few questions and get I'll, back to me. I'll take a few pictures. Of Aaron's? Mm-hmm. I don't want to know about orange. Right. Anyway, I I don't <laughs> I don't actually know. I would I would say Tony McAlevey, biggest stick. There you are. are. I think you're right. Congratulations. Right. On you go. What's oh, me? Oh, thank you. Sure. Yeah. Okay. You haven't touched your tea yet. I'm gonna go need the toilet if I touch the tea. Right. Okay. Is this number four or five? It's five, isn't it? Five. Jesus, a long one. Oh. I hate these. Do you want to read it? Yeah. Right, you read it. <laughs> this is what I'm... Right, so you have to pick one. Did someone ask you this? No, I made it up. How oh, you make it up yourself, you fucking dick? <laughs> right, so you get three choices. A. <laughs> have a visible orgasm every time you're within 10 metres of bananas. Right, he's made this up, and like, so this just gives you a bit of an insight. <laughs> Have a Tourette's tick that makes you shout, I'm a wee horny Catholic, every time you see someone attractive. Right. And then the last one is, hysterically cry for 30 seconds every time you do the toilet. Every time you go to the toilet? <laughs> so, bananas and well, orgasms. Bananas is like... Bananas and orgasms, not very often. And you could probably do a pretty decent job well, of staying like, out of the, the range. Years. So, like, we just went in the cost cars. There's no <laughs> way of getting around that shop. <laughs> Excuse me, where's the fruit? Oh, don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> and what was the second one? Um, have a Tourette's tick where you need to shout, I'm a wee horny Catholic every time you see someone attractive. So you would prob- you would see someone attractive more every often day. than you would see bananas, probably. And Not an Antrim. <laughs> yeah, maybe all right, an Antrim. What was the last one? Hysterically cry for 30 seconds. Every time you go to the Torah, so you yeah. go to the Torah all the time. I'm going to lock in A, because... <laughs> yeah, you can... Every time... You can prep... Michael here, don't worry. You can, <laughs> you, can, you can prep for that, you know. You can wear a nappier, like a, an adult nappier or whatever. You can also do, if you, like... 
oh, I near exposed myself there. I'll keep that one to myself. You know I was going to talk about. <laughs> but what you going to say? About, no, I can't. I'll <laughs> no. tell you off camera. <laughs> but I near got myself shouted out by Bobby. Um, <laughs> but imagine you, you, sometimes you might not know there's a banana. You can you. do a very good job at disguising an orgasm, I reckon. <laughs> if you, if like, your face might look a bit, but you you could do a good job, I think. Right. You know what I mean? So I think I would lock in A, based off the fact that you can prep for it. You're hardly ever around bananas. And it's not as, what's the word, loud as crying or fucking... I stare at the crying, imagine. Imagine being in a Euro. That was a well thought out question, though, because it's like... They're all equally quite bad, yeah. Yeah, you've got extremes and um, less extreme on either end of right, it. let's go again. Number six. What time is it there? 43 minutes we've been on, maybe 40 minutes. 40 minutes, right. 30 minutes? Oh, okay. Yeah, this isn't. Do you want to read it? <laughs> this is definitely is it? one of me. <laughs> right. You're a fucking tramp. Did you write these yourself? Did you write this one? <laughs> I had too many coffees this morning. <laughs> that was about. That was my third coffee. That's why you know. Some of these are stinking. Uh, would you rather have to come on your feet every morning, or put your socks on without washing? No, and put your socks on without washing. Or every time you farted, <laughs> cried for 10 seconds. Mate, these are horrific. I don't even find that funny. I don't. That's just horrific. <laughs> Especially because you wrote it. That's the worst part. If someone asked you that, I'd be mean, like, people are wired. People are fried. They can't even sit here and say that. Okay, so would you rather have to come on your feet every morning and put your socks on without washing or every time you farted, you cried for 10 seconds? 100%. Every time you, f well, <laughs> you could hold a, f you definitely could hold a fart in for a fur bit. You would have to learn how to hold farts. Yeah, I, I think I would go. I would lock in B there, hundred percent. Depends how you're coming. <laughs> Depends how you're coming on your feet as well. Like, can you load that up, or do you have to do the business? I'm not going to go for. I'm not touching A. Staying away from A. <laughs> Even though I'm fond of a, uh, of coming a sock, but I don't I don't really like wearing them. If I'm being totally honest, um, yeah, certainly B for me. Yeah, this is what I mean. This is gonna like, in B. I think our questions are different. Yeah, that's horrific. <laughs> that's bad. Okay, so <laughs> on to the next one. Okay, is this one of yours. This is one of mine. Right, we'll not answer that one. Is it uh, the avoidable subject? Yeah, we'll stay away from that one. Mm -hmm. A Jeffrey Dahmer sort of ah, thing? Something <laughs> like that. Mm. Might go again. People are fret. Like, I can't believe someone asked that question. I'm just going to say that oh, so, like, someone, so I say with the question, yeah, someone like, asked, would we rather shag Prince George or Prince Charlotte? That is fucking fried. And even... Sick individuals. I like think we need another you. blackmail. Like, I think we need to find out who that person is. I'm near sure there is a way on that app that you can yeah, find you can out. Pay you can pay. I'm willing to pay 50 quid to find out who that person is. And so we'll blackmail them. Down. And we'll get 20 grand. Because that's horrific. Right, next question. Charlotte. <laughs> Don't say that. Um, oh, class. Shag, Mari, Kill. Oh, God. Sean Casey, Tony McAlevey, or Sean Fitness. <laughs> Someone actually asked that. <sighs> right, go ahead. Shag, marry, kill. Yep. Oh, mate. What, what are you having the way out first? Shagging one of them? Whatever you want, mate. The world is your oyster. I don't think I would survive Sean Fitz shagging me. No, you're, sha you're doing well, the shagging. Tiny, tiny. Oh, I'm you're doing, doing the shagging. the shagging, yep. Oh, well, are you? Yeah, you're doing the shagging, that. yeah. Okay, um, give you that one. Kill. Kill's probably the... I'm Mary. I've who's got, the, who's got the best chat? I reckon Sean Fitz would make a nice husband. I reckon it'd be nice to you. Then... Oh, I've already said Tony, he's probably got a big whopper, so I'll kill him. i shag Sean. Fitz. I went, yeah, Sean, I went about it differently. I actually went for Mary Sean. 
what Sean Casey? Yeah, I think so. Because he's he's the youngest out of them all. Oh yeah, he's, tell me more. He probably makes all of them probably make a fair bit of money. But what, I said, 20, if I had to guess, do you think so? Twenty, twenty, uh, twenty probably owned, owns this building. Could be a sugar, <laughs> <laughs> could be a sugar daddy. Um, so I think I'll marry Sean. I'll shag Tony McAlevey because I feel like he's maybe got the best glutes out of them all. And uh, I don't know Sean Fitness, so I'll kill him until I know. Go for it, Sean. Right, let's move on from that. That was fucking disgusting. Would you rather every time you orgasm shout, I love you, mother... Is this not? This is another one of yours. Is no, all your questions yeah, but I about? Didn't, I didn't write. That. I didn't okay. write this. Would you rather every time you orgasm shout "I love you, mother" or shout "Long live the queen" whilst saluting? That's probably every time you what? Orgasm. No. What was the first one? I love you, mother, or long live the queen. You've got two choices. You have to shout one of them. I think the long live the queen thing's a bit outdated. That's actually more awkward. Definitely. Like, because then you wouldn't be up to current affairs if you were to shout that. I think that yeah, you know? I think they've pulled that from twenty twenty one. Yeah, well, she only died a few weeks ago, man. So yeah. nah, it's long enough. I already, you, I've already talked about it. On just the you be respectful. Uh, mm. Don't you start, or else your scissors are. Um, you massive prod. I would go <laughs> for Michael. The, you know, people are saying that someone actually. I didn't write this down. People were like, "Why is your name Michael and you're a Protestant?" <laughs> <laughs> Why? He's got the makes no sense. In your name ever? No. Some they were actually commenting that under that thing you did to me. Yeah, that yeah, they're no. like, oh, massive Protestant with a name like Michael. Is that bit of uh, education for you, folks? Protestants can be called Michael. It's not against the law, so it isn't. But anyway, any whom? What was the question? I think I would shout, "Long live the Queen!" or "I love you, Mother." Some. Long live the queen. Yeah, I would go for it. Yeah. Okay. Ideally, I would shout neither, <laughs> but I would go for long live, or sorry. Wait, on you go. Yeah. Will you do it like two right, more? Come on. Do it like two come more. Come on. What have we got? So, would you rather have... Would you rather have to suck milk from the other one's nipples every time you needed milk or every time you farted? There's a real trend with these questions. <laughs> or every time you farted, you squirted a pint of milk out from your nipples. So who's the other one? Like you, me or you? <laughs> Did someone ask you this as well? <laughs> no, me oh, you're a fucking weirdo. You're a weirdo. Um, so it's me or the other... <laughs> Right, so suck milk from your nipples or every time I farted, milk squirted from my nipples. I would go for... You probably get used to that after a while. I would <laughs> I would be giving a fair bit of that initially if I had to suck your nipples, especially those fucking big, hurry, I shave chewy them, cinnamons. Be yeah. I'd be clean shaven for you. I would... Would you? Mm. Okay, nice. we'll go with that. I think I would do that because every time you <laughs> farted, squirting a pint of milk out your nipples would be a little bit... What would be the word? Um, what would be the word I'm looking for there? Awkward as fuck. Shite. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Inconvenient. You be able to leave. That would make you a recluse. Inconvenient. Imagine you were just squatting and you know, you everybody's in, uh, everybody's partial to a quiet fart when they're squatting. Yeah, and then your milk comes out. You, yeah. you ever see you see those videos of girls like deadlifting and they piss themselves? Have you seen them? I've seen the past now ones. I've never seen people pissing themselves. Easiest wank I've had this year. Um, Lovely. I'll clip that. Yeah, there, there's actually videos of like girls deadlifting and then it's just because it's massive exertion. They obviously piss themselves. Isn't that what squirting is as Nobody well? Nobody move. You see, not heard that song? Nobody move, there's blood on the floor. No. I heard that, okay, let's move on. What was what were you asking? Is that not what squirting is as well, piss? Uh, I think it's mostly piss this from what I've read. A, this is the last one I'll do, right? It's my one. Yeah. What's your star sign? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Star. No comment. You, I feel like you'll have uh, a so, Well, someone asked me what my biggest deck is or what my biggest red flag is, and uh, Star Signs is it. That's yeah. my biggest one. 
hundred percent. I think someone who believes in star signs is it says a lot about them. It's a mental. No, I'm not even saying that. What are you gonna say? I was gonna say it's a mental <laughs> illness. No, I'm only joking. Um, it is. It makes. It kind of makes no. Is there any sort of like science behind star signs at all? Uh, I don't think so. Or is it just it's the, Mystic Meg off the a, sun or what's a there cracker? There's a girl I used to work with in Australia, and she was like, she was late for work and all that one day. Um, one of the boys and she was like, look, look, look dead flustered and one of the boys was like what's wrong with you and she was like oh Mer- Mercury's in retrograde <laughs> and he was like what he's like yeah, yeah, Mercury retrograde and he's like break that what does that mean she was like it's not aligned with the other planets yeah and I was like how yeah, do you when that happens how, <laughs> how do you know that also like do you know what I mean and how does that have an effect on like what's the mechanism that has an effect on you there that makes I feel like People who look into astrology don't take responsibility for how they feel. So, like, if you feel shite, what, it's not that you're the months you're born. Maybe something in your life is going badly. Well, I think people sometimes take comfort from stuff that is much bigger than them that they can kind of attach themselves to. That, defla- like always that deflects blaming. against them having like to take have, any self-responsibility. If you have a relationship that ends, it's like when you blame it on another blame it fully yeah, on and you take, person even though that's not the case you take what's the word like solace from that almost yeah. if you know what I mean or like you hate the gender it's a bit like people that are too passionate about football or like politics you? or religion I'm not, but I don't cry, I don't cry like I'm passionate about it I love you it you used to cry about football yeah but when I was 12 give me a break I was Probably getting like pubes 18. I was getting pubes um you know, it's kind of like a deflection technique for actually taking responsibility themselves, I think. At Here, least that's how I feel about it. Back we'll talk more about astrology. That's why I knew mines were going to be well different to yours. Yours were horrible. You can do better. <laughs> you can do better. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would, I would love to know. I would love to know if there's actually, like, logic, science mechanisms behind astrology i'm sure there there has to be it couldn't just be made up imagine this one person like i'd love to know who's the person that makes the most money off astrology worldwide like business wise because i would shake that person's hand I'm, there's Probably someone the same the same people that run Scientology. there's someone out there making like 50 grand a month off astrology see for a being honest with you see if my mum is into it it's fucked <laughs> genuinely that's the biggest you speak flag. so highly of your mum <laughs> no, it's honestly fuck. Well, my mum has this new thing, right? And my dad, <laughs> my mum. Have I told you that my mum and dad are getting divorced? Your man and dad haven't been with each other for twenty years. Twenty three. They're now getting divorced. They've been married for those full twenty three years. Then I'll tell you about when I was in Sydney. I was out like steaming. My dad started ringing me, and he never rings me. Like it was two in the morning in Sydney time. So like, why the fuck is he ringing me? answered it at the back of this party and he was like I'm going to divorce your mum and I was like alright sound <laughs> it's been 21 years why Why now and he's like just if I die like she gets everything I may as well fix it and I was like yeah that's agreed. some good logic I like it but 20 years ago and he, he still never done it yeah I was like that's, like that's just the most typical man thing he ever he's the bit see he, he like calls me like last minute uh, like last minute at dot com is what he calls me like if I if uh-huh. I don't and I'm like where do you think I get that from? He's the biggest procrastinator I've ever just, met in my life. See, when he says that, you should just give him, like, like, I'll be back in 10 minutes, then just go and write on a list of, like, all the things that he's, like, just left at the last minute. One of them was the attic. The attic, he he says every year he's going to fix. One of them, another one, he's, like, every single year he says he's going to get a new job. He doesn't. Never does it. Um, But, so he's actually... Big started, John. So he started two two years ago, that was, and he's not took any action on it. Like at all. So, at my what mom, about his uh, recent move into politics? That's just on Facebook. Keep that hush hush. <laughs> He'll be an MP soon. Yeah. The t- and he was given off at Tyson Fury as well on Facebook. Do you see that? What is it about men and the older they get? They just like get gradually and gradually more opinionated about things. Well, when I came back from Australia, I hadn't seen him in two years. I know, sitting watching the telly with him, and we we buy any car came on, and he was sitting shouting like how they were robbing bastards. <laughs> <laughs> So I walk into my dad. If I walk into my dad's house tomorrow, there will be a video of like someone slagging the Democrats, the the American Party, the Democrats on on YouTube, and I'll say to him, "Why do you watch this stuff? 
it has nothing to do with you. And he's like, they're bastards. <laughs> Them Democrats are bastards. I'm like, big man, you're from Northern Ireland. <laughs> nothing Joe Biden does is going to, you know, affect you immediately or primarily anyway. And he's just like, they're just all cr like that face. Yeah, you know? uh, the scam, it's always to do with money and politics, isn't it? Like yeah. He watches Question Time just and just gets angry. I don't get men that watch the like the news. Have oh. you? Is it is it like an older man thing? Like the we? I don't. Me and my dad don't. used to have a daily argument during lockdown where I used to switch the news off and he'd switch it back on, and he'd be <sighs> fu he'd be fucked all day, like depressed and miserable. Be like, we're never gonna get out of this. The and bad all that. news. Yeah, and I'd be like, switch that off, and he would switch yep. it on again. And then he start telling me about it. I was like, fuck off. Just let me go a walk and yep. try to do something, and not think about it. Anyway, I'll go back to what I was talking about because it gets interesting. She, so my mum was on the phone to me the other day and I was like, here, can you just like message my dad and divorce him? Sort of it. Just, would you two, two you just not be married anymore? Because see if, you know my mum has a few wee quirks. If it's my, if told, my yeah. dad died and my mum got all his stuff, imagine me having to deal with all that. I would honestly throw myself off the Erskine Bridge. I need to stop making references of that. Yeah. But I think I would. Anyway, so I was like, right, sort it out but my my mum has this new thing right where she's got really bad rheumatoid arthritis remember last year uh -huh. I, I yep. paid 350 quid for that zoom call therapy thing i didn't even tell you what that was remember i gave her 350 quid for christmas i didn't tell you what it was for did i i told you it was for 350 quid for a zoom call <laughs> mate <laughs> <laughs> do you know what it was for oh, I, I feel really like i don't even want to know it That's was mad. for a woman that says she can heal your trauma by making you tap yourself. So you like grab like stones or something and you like tap your shoulder and it heals your trauma. Oh, so like what? as much as I don't believe any of this, I, this gave the the, thing, right? I gave her the money just to be like, I, yeah. knew, I knew it'd make her happy. So I gave her the money, right? We can sit here and slag that all day and you know, it is a bit stupid from the outside looking in, but see when you really believe in something, it does work. It's Hashtag not. placebo effect. Yeah. Like you think about that book that I used to read all the time, Gavin. How's your day going, by the way? That uh, How to Win Friends and Influence book. blood pressure is rising by the second. Like that used to be my Bible. And because I was reading it every single day and trying to do like all the things that were in, and I really believed it. And I really believed that it was helping me become a, a better version of myself. He was the Tommy most Smith. annoying person you've ever met. He had, a, he had no opinion on anything. Like, you could ask me a, my opinion on something and think, or about, you think about, like, this is the real me now, probably one of the, not massively opinionated, but I'll just speak my mind about anything. Yeah. Um, back then, I was the exact opposite. Like, the exact opposite. Even if I gave my opinion on something, you wouldn't even give your opinion on my opinion. I would You'd ask be you, like, why what? do you feel that? that? That was the thing you used to say to me that used to but grind why? my gears. But why? Like, but just say what you want to say, but instead you just go, but why? Yeah. And then you, but you, do, you tilt your head as well and you go, but why? But, but if you really believe something, like, it, it'll work. So, you know the way I'm, you know someone said on your story that I'm abrasive, and I, or was it? Was it you? No, it wasn't me. They said that, Oh, you two, you two would make a good combination because one's abrupt and abrasive and the other one's more empathetic. Right. Obviously, the abrupt and abrasive thing was about me. Yep. I'm like that because of my childhood with my mum. 100%. Did your, did your therapist tell you that? <laughs> no. But if I look back at the stuff she used to do, like she used, to, there was one time I was trying to sunbathe mm -hmm. and I was like 15 and she came out and told me that the chemtrails were going to kill me and I need to come in. So we had a full on argument about chemtrails. So that's why you she, are the way you are. She constantly tell me every single month that the world was going to end, and that uh, like every, everything was going to come out. I didn't know what was going to come out, but everything was going to come out. Your uh, your mum doesn't happen to listen to your podcast, does she? I say this to her anyway. Right, good. Just making sure, just in case she has a, she tunes in the one one no. that happens to be this one. She has a meltdown. But I, I, I say this stuff to her anyway because she believes anything she sees on the internet. Do you ever have like an experience as a kid where like you were shite a scared of your dad? Is there like one specific one? My dad's spe fucking terrifying me. That's what I mean. But knowing you're, a, I think our dads are quite similar in the respect that uh, when we were growing up, we had mad res like crazy respect for them in, in the aspect of trying not to do anything wrong. I've told you about the iPhone oh, yeah. thing, haven't I? 
Yeah, you have, yeah. yeah. Tell it. You told it on one of your podcasts before? Yeah, about ages ago, I think. Like, the one that probably no one's listened to. Yeah. But he also... <clears throat> yeah, my, like, I just remember thinking my dad's family, like, having a bit of temper does run in the family. I don't really... I have the... I can get... You know, where I get those weird things if something happens, where yeah. half an hour I'm annoyed, but I don't get really, really angry. Do you know, I don't, like, start shouting or anything. Yep. So I, I don't have what they have. They've got this, like, switch, and it's, like, actual anger. I, I don't I don't have it. Um, maybe, like, once or twice in my life, but my dad has a wee bit of it. The rest of them have it way more than him. But I've seen that a few times when I was younger. I went... Just when, go right over the, the edge with well, anger? when I was four, or four or five, I got a... I got a stamp in like a magazine and I stamped all of my walls and I remember him losing his fucking mind and after <laughs> seeing that and and I also I had like a like electric car uh-huh. and it was my, like just a wee mini one that I used to drive about in and I spray painted it and I also spray painted his white fusual like just a wee bit but I, sp- I fully spray painted mine and then I spray painted my dad's taxi and he also lost the blood went mad and then I think I also broke the key in half so he couldn't get out to work <laughs> from the yeah. garage and i seen i seen that like three times and i never annoyed him again ever <laughs> yeah i have a few mad experiences with my dad and don't worry he didn't touch me or anything like that one because that's why i was gonna ask <laughs> the the first one like these two see these two things i'll never forget them the first one was when he was driving me to youth club one day i was about 13 or 14 and he just stopped the car and he said, he must have had suspicions about something. I have no idea where he even got it from because I'd never smoke a cigarette. But he turned around to me and was like, if you ever fucking so much as even take a draw of a fig, I'm going to break your hands. <laughs> and then just took off again. <laughs> With no relevance to anything. No, well, he, I don't know if he had his suspicions about something, but never forget that. Just pulled over in the car. He's like, if you ever smoke a cigarette, I'll break your hands. Do you know the one time I've ever went mental with my dad or raised my voice to my dad is when he started smoking again after he had a heart attack yeah and he was hiding it and i went absolutely nuts at him because that's the only time i felt like i had to i was like no that's you fucked up yeah, too much yeah that you need to let him know you can't you can't like can't look, see even it. though you can kick my cunt in yeah you're not allowed to right yeah now. you need to know this yeah <laughs> that was like the only time i was like i have enough here yeah where i can you can't do it i couldn't like i've I think we're the same. We ab- we love our dads so much, which sounds a bit yeah. weird, but we really do. Like no, I'm I so, don't. don't. Like I've said this loads of times, my dad will be my best man. If he's still alive, of course, which I hope he will be, he'll be the best man at my wedding. Uh, there was this one other time where I was about 14 or 15 and I was out with these group of boys that I didn't really know and they wanted to go down into the old park and rat or, I suppose, fight with a couple of Catholics. I was about 13 or 14. And <laughs> As if you, you know anything about me, that's not me, but I was <laughs> fucked peer pressure and all that. So anyway, one of them gave me a scarf and I wrapped it like round my head like a yeah. you know, like I was going to a football match, like I was a fucking hooligan. And we were down in the old park and we were walking and, and looking and walking and looking and next thing this big white fan pulls up beside me. And it's my fucking dad and he just he rolls the window down and he has this thing with his teeth when he gets angry. Like he grits his teeth. He just went, get fucking in my... <laughs> I have never walked into a car slower in my life. So I knew, I just knew exactly what was coming. And he fucking slapped the legs. I mean, like, properly, like, proper slapped it. Yeah. yeah, 100 but He deserved it yeah. for getting on like that. So what, were you, you were going to actually fight with, like, just that? No, well, I was, I was probably going to run away. Oh, yeah. But it was just, you know, that thing we were out with boys that are older the than you. Fights. Not even, not even that organized they're mad just like oh look at me I don't yeah. know. how did he know though i see for like three or four years after that, i literally thought he had a tracker on me i'm not even messing about it. i thought did he did you it. ask him he doesn't remember it no no funny that angry <laughs> he just completely forgot it but well, out of body experience. i have asked him since that Come here you. yeah <laughs> And he sla- slapped the legs and he got me in the ma- got me into the house. I was like, get fucking up to your room now. Nah, I ma- can imagine. My mommy, him, like my mom was always like, Shh, Thomas, leave him alone. Like, leave him alone. He's like, fucking, I can't, be- no, can't believe that. Just so, so angry. Never forget that. When was the last time I told you the iPhone story? You told me the iPhone story maybe about 
it's been it's been a while like yeah it's been a long time ago i'll tell it again this is when i well i always knew my dad was a bit mental but my dad's that every time i get in a taxi and someone knows my dad they would always say if they're from where i'm from they would just go your dad and his brother were amazing at football. <laughs> always, every ta- every taxi again. If the guys like within five years of my dad, they always talk about how good him and my dad were at football. I like didn't make it though, did they? I still live in yeah. View Park. So Feel like that's just something most yeah. people say. But I also like I worked. I remember I worked in Tunnox, uh-huh. and those two guys that like went, were in my dad's school, and they were like, "Your dad can go, just look fighting." And I'd be like. Cheers. Thanks for telling me, mate. Yeah, cheers. I was like, what do you mean? You're just like, wouldn't mess with him. I was like, what has he done? Because <laughs> <laughs> there's obviously something that's happened and they're like, mm. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, th- thanks for letting me know anyway. Yeah. And I asked my dad for a phone, an iPhone, an iPhone 4. And I, I always had those little fucking phones where you actually had to press like Nokia's. nine, three times Sony to erasons. get like a wire or whatever. Yeah. So I was all, I couldn't chat to any birds because it took me way longer than everyone else. I was at a, loss and uh, that's what I wanted for Christmas and he's also he's just see if you put see if you like were to see if I was to give you a piece of paper and you were just to try draw a Glaswegian man it would be my dad that would come that is what you would draw that's what you would draw and he so what he done instead of buying an iPhone like a normal person he got one off the back of a truck uh, which just somebody means, told you, and he, you believed them probably. Well, off the back of a truck, just I always thought, like, I, when my dad, I literally that, thought that as well. I used to think off it the was back like, of a lorry. I used to think it was like a lorry that was going somewhere that like crashed, and then everyone stole. The I stuff can actually from remember it. the first time someone said, like, use that expression <laughs> off the back of a lorry, and I can remember thinking, he's he's got that off the back of a lorry. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I always thought that, and um, so he said that, and then he was like. He, he, he he hates Christmas anyway, so I was like, oh, I've got it, and he like yep. showed me it. Whatever he wasn't gonna give me it, but he was like, I've got it. And then like two days later, he he was just human, like absolutely human. Stomping and he was about. try use the phone, and it had lost signal, and he immediately was just like he clocked it straight away. So what they had a wee scam going where mm-hmm. they were basically stealing phones, selling them before it lost the signal, and then um, punting them. So, so like we, you would buy the phone, then you'd figure out that it was lost. Anyway, my dad was trying to phone the guy, and obviously he's blocked his number and all yep. that. And he decides that what he's going to do is get we sixteen year old me. 15, I was like fifteen or sixteen, I think it was maybe sixteen. And he goes, "What we're going to do is instead of just you know, letting it go, or instead of like maybe just buying you an iPhone, we are going to get you at sixteen to phone this guy up and say you want to buy." another iPhone off him or not another iPhone off him just to, like you want to inquire about an iPhone Yeah. so he makes me this is like he was so angry the full time as well so I'm te- the full time I'm like sh- like genuinely shaking like really really nervous the full time and again it was in his room so like see sometimes when I go in his room now I, I still like remember it like shake still, walking in yeah, the flashbacks he, he had like uh, it was at the computer and he was sitting next to me and he just gave me the phone. He's like, "This is what you're gonna do." And he's fully fuming the full time. He's like, "Are you gonna phone this wee prick?" He's like, <laughs> "You're gonna tell him that you want to buy an iPhone for your sister, and then we're gonna go in and meet him. We're gonna sort him out." I was like, "What do you mean sort him out?" You're like, "Who's my sister?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I'm an only child. And uh, he, so he gives me the phone, and I'm sitting on the phone to this guy, telling him like that, making up this story by the way off the cuff as well he gave he gave me no time to like get a script together and yep. i'm fully making this up off the cuff and the guy's like ah, what make, what more where are you coming in and i'm like oh, i fucking know my dad's like hey mate come down to me i'm like fucking hell anyway i'm like making up all these instructions of where i'm gonna meet him and stuff and he's like talking about all these places that i don't know then we go we get in the van still fuming we don't speak the full time that we're, go- we're going into like the west end of glasgow also not the place where you rob someone by the way where we were like where you've been the west end like right next it's to that nice sa- see that sainsbury's that we went up to uh-huh. that's where it was yeah like, right next to that and uh we go we go in the car he parks behind like a church and then he starts giving me instructions he's like right what we're gonna do is i'm gonna hide across the street you're going to go over there, speak to him at this bit. And then what he's going to do is he's going to show you the iPhone. You're gonna, he's going to ask you a few questions. And then when he gives you the iPhone, 
you're going to click your fingers and I'm going to be across the other side of the street. You're like an accomplice and a murderer here. <laughs> yeah. What the one thing that I always think about when I look back on it is the fact that he left the van and then he put a high-vis jacket on. Uh-huh. Like his high-vis work jacket on. Just... And he's trying to hide. High visibility jacket. <laughs> and he's hide. So he, we go down. He hides behind like a massive bin. Uh-huh. Like one of those public, bi- yep. uh, public bins. And then he's hiding behind there. I'm speaking to the guy. And as soon as he gives me the phone, I don't even click my fingers. My dad just comes absolutely storming across the fucking road, going fucking mental. He gave him, he gave him like this, mate, this like 10 minute speech about how he just had a heart attack and all this. He's like, how he doesn't need this shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> fucking, he was giving him like, oh, fuck, like a proper like yep. life lesson. Yep. He was like, and he, I think he was like, he was like, how long have you lived in Glasgow for or whatever? Because he was foreign as well. He'd lived there for like two years or whatever. And he's like, you do this in this city, you will die. Yeah, <laughs> he's you'll like, be dead. He was like, he was going off at him. And uh, he was like, how many other phones have you got? And he was like, none. He was like, how many other phones you got? And he had like two other phones off. And he was like, you'll have them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And he get, starts giving me them. And then like, after that, the wee guy's absolutely shams. Also, yep. like he was smaller than me. He was like, what age was he? He's, pro- he's probably like 22 or something. Yeah, quite young. Young, yeah. small, foreign. Yep. Um, Being confronted by a giant Glaswegian fella. Yeah, very scary man. And he was just like, moan. And then we just sprinted back to the van and came back, like, uh, got back in the van. I've got three iPhones in my hand as well. We're <laughs> driving back. And he's like, he keeps phoning my, So he's got my dad. No, it's my, my phone. He keeps phoning my phone. And then I just keep giving it to my dad. And he's like, I- I'm going to find you and all that. And he's like, you fucking shat yourself, you wee prick. Uh, <laughs> he's, yeah, like, uh. he's like, shut up. He's like, come find me then. Here's my dress. And, all uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then for the next like two days, I-, I don't know how I didn't know how to block people's numbers then. But he had, so he had my number. I mean, I was sitting in like English in school getting death threats off of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Go, I'm going to find you and your dad. <laughs> Broken <laughs> English. <laughs> I'm saying teachers are like that Cam, do you know the answer to the next question? I'm like, ah, ah. Uh, <laughs> But that was that was the time where I was like because I'd, I'd heard all that stuff before where people was like wouldn't mess with your dad. I was like, is he a gangster? Then you knew. Yeah. After that you knew. Yeah, yeah. Terrifying man. Don't mess with uh, Big John. Uh, he's he's a bit less intimidating now. Old age will do that to you. Mellows you out for yeah. a bit, but my dad's the same. You think you kind of get the NAs as a man and you just... Did you ever get... Did you, did you think you've got to the point where you look at him and go, I can take you? Nah, I, w- I still wouldn't. It's the fists, it's the wrists, it's everything. It's the sausage fingers. Imagine getting hit. Oh, he's got those mechanic fingers. Oh, it's mad. It's it's different. It's just built different. You've got like wee willy winky fingers. Yeah, me and you both do. You know, just we'd, we'd, uh, We wouldn't survive. I've got one last question I will ask you before we wrap up, and it was actually because someone asked me like an actual in deep, que- uh, in depth question about me. No, it was like, oh, this is what I mean. Like people were asking me really weird stuff as well on that, like as in like topics to talk about. Yeah. And I didn't mention anything about doing this on a podcast or anything. It, and it's funny they asked me and you it, but I want to hear. How do you know it was a he? That was you'll, anonymous. You'll soon find out. Yeah, I'm a gay guy. Right. <laughs> And it adds a whole extra level of bullshit to proceedings when it comes to sport. Bullying in the locker room, football homophobia, it all builds to not feeling that comfortable about macho blokes. I'm not a snowflake, but what support can you give to help break that mental link? Why have you asked me this question? Are you just trying to, like, kill me on camera? No. <laughs> what, read, it, read it one more, summarize I'm it not, for me. What can me and you do? to help gay guys feel less uncomfortable in macho situations in sport maybe that'd be a summary I love how they ask me like where if I gave like an insight into how I can do something about that I literally have no answer for that I feel like me and you aren't the right people to answer that question simply because one we're not gay and two we're not really in those scenarios with I wouldn't say we're I can look. I can. I can completely understand why it's a why it's difficult. Oh, definitely, hundred um, percent. Well, do you know what I mean? Like one of the things you would say, is, we're not like, sociologists. You know what I mean? We can't. Like we can't. <laughs> I wonder if that's the same thing now, though. Where you know when we were in school, 
calling people gay would be like what yep. you would say. That yep. was like, oh, you're gay or that's gay or whatever. Yep. Do you think these kids still do that now? Definitely, I'd say so, yeah. yeah. Any- it's a cul- it's kind of like a cultural thing here, isn't it? I'm not saying it's right by any stretch of the imagination, but it it's kind of like that first thing that you say when you're 12 and someone's annoying you, you're gay, which isn't right. Yeah. You wonder how that kind of came about. I would say people will obviously... I'd say it's definitely punished more now. If, like if a teacher hears that, there's probably like suspension for that. At our, in our uh, our time in school, you wouldn't have got punished for that, would you? You wouldn't no, have got no. punished for calling someone gay. Definitely Whereas now I'd say... So I think it is a slow and gradual thing uh, in terms of you know reversing that. Um, I don't know how... The kids are wee I've, bastards. I think like the gay culture and stuff in general is... Like it's not even really that big a deal anymore when no. people come out. Whereas even ten years ago, it would have been, how do you change it in like macho situations? Yeah. I have no idea. Maybe a pr- a privileged situation for us to be in to say that about gay culture and, and stuff. But it from the outside looking in, it definitely does look like it's it's definitely improving. I would say it's nothing. It's to about do the with, most serious thing we've talked about today. I would say it's nothing to do with like me or me. Well, obviously not me or you can't do a jack shit. But no. imagine. Imagine I just change my Instagram tomorrow. I'm doing stuff for um, I'm gonna, gay yeah. rights and football. Yep. That's what my Instagram is now dedicated to. Um, but that I would think, be a real... You think about the teams that we've played for, though. That, like, put yourself in that situation. Being a gay guy, trying to mould into that. Um, It would be really, really difficult. For the teams that I've played for, that would be a real challenge. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. I think when well, footballers and that are starting to come out now, aren't they? I think that'd be the. I think that's going to be the movement, as it like that's what will change things when you see like footballers. Still crazy though, like leagues like the Premier League. I don't think there's one gay footballer, but there has to be. Yeah. By the law of averages, there has to be someone in that league that's a homosexual, but they don't. You know, why are they not coming out and speaking about it? Has there not been anyone? Has there not, not been anyone? Not that's current, like retired. Not, don't and think so. Said I think that they are. Footballers, none of them spring to mind. Not in the Premier League. There's definitely has been footballers in other leagues, but not current players in the Premier League. Not that I can think of anyway. There was rugby players as well, wasn't A few there? rugby players. There's one guy, I, I think, think I, for LA Galaxy or something. As much as rugby is more macho than football, football is actually like the more backwards sport, isn't it? hundred percent, yeah. I more think that's, bigoted, where the, more that's where the fear comes from. Be more, way more homophobic, more, way more bigoted. Way more racist. Like fans are fucking horrendous. Terrible. Football fans are the worst. Like they are, they're actually the worst. Yeah. Puts you off going the games. Yeah, because yeah. you you see them. At, what was it like the? Was it the Chelsea game or something? I was watching the other day, and there was people just giving people dogs abuse when they were taking throw-ins and all. That. Yep. Chelsea fans are really really bad. Yeah, for like it. Premier League games. It was not. Was it Leeds? I was watching against Arsenal, and like, like someone's taking a throw, and the fans are like, you know, the ones sitting down, they're like. Yeah, and you just look at them and like, just give over. You've clearly got two children. Like, imagine they're only kicking a ball, but chill out, big man. You know what I mean? It's not. Don't be that pressed. Do you not remember, like, the type of people who used to watch um, your football games? They are actually worse. Like parents, we we had like eight games abandoned, mate. Yeah, yeah, we'd we two or three games abandoned, and you're like the the saddest thing is that you're fourteen. You know what I mean? You're fourteen. Who cares? Yeah, Obviously, everybody curves in that, that scenario, but sh- I mean, um, invading the pitch and threatening to smack the referee has to be an all time low, surely, for like some parents. Because someone didn't give uh, your it's son a fucking red card. Like, someone didn't give your son a penalty. Yeah. My dad done yeah. that as well. My dad invaded the pitch one time. Because you just didn't get nah, a penalty. I was caught, I, yeah, I was, I was actually. Big John strikes again. I slight tackled someone and they gave a penalty, but it was the other team it was like a friendly 11s game right friendly and your dad still invaded the pitch no the the manager big john the manager of the other team was the ref and he gave a penalty and he was a prick he was an actual prick and he was rough as fuck you think i was like how was that ever allowed do you do you know what happened like after referees that? being the yeah. other team the penalty never got given it didn't <laughs> big john <laughs> big john big john. <laughs> big john gave him the talk puts puts <laughs> fires out all over the place <laughs> Right, I think we'll end the podcast here because I don't think we've got anything else to say about. Uh, Buy my recipe book if you haven't you bought. Do you want to plug a if few you haven't bought my recipe book for the four hundred people that are probably going to watch this, if you haven't bought my recipe book, it's the best one of its kind in Northern Ireland. 
There's several recipe books. Are you Sean, Rudy, or Michael? Michael. Today, anyway. <laughs> Today. So, yeah, buy the book. Half price. It's a half price for this week only. And when I say that, it's actually just always going to be half price. Yeah, that's forever. Not, it's just a sales technique. It's just bollocks. So, anyway, yeah, and find you on Mitch. Well, we can't find you, but Instagram, I'll put it in the show notes if everyone could like, Thanks, subscribe, rate the podcast on Spotify. That'd be great. Thank you. Peace out. Adios.